Hi everybody, Michael here and it is week two of my vlog and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to format it. I'm still kind of in, in the middle of how do I want to take this vlog forward? Do I just want to do a lot more external stuff uh, and, and actually document my week or do I just want to give some really good stories and talk about who I am, what I do and some of the really cool adventures I've had in my past. I, I suppose a vlog really is anything you want it to be so it's a case of enjoying uh, what you are creating. So at the moment I'm really into storytelling and actually giving people a little insight into who I am, what I do and maybe some of the things that I've got up to uh, with my 32 years on this planet. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about was the fact that I have Paul McCartney's bottle of water. Six years ago, I used to work at the Liverpool Philharmonic Hall as a stage technician. Each year, Liverpool uh, Philharmonic used to host the graduations for Lipper, the Liverpool Institute uh, of Performing Arts. And Paul McCartney is the founding father of the, the Lipper University. And every year Paul McCartney would come and shake the hands of all the people graduating in that year. And I was very fortunate enough to work on a few of these each year. Um, the last year that I worked on the graduation day, um, I remember it because I actually got a chance to have a little chat with Paul in the corridor just before he went on stage to be introduced um, by the head of Lipper at the time. And I remember standing in the corridor with Paul McCartney and a few other people um, just having a conversation. And it wasn't really much of, oh my God, you're Paul McCartney. It was, I mean, to be honest, I'd worked at the Philharmonic Hall for about six years. So I kind of got used to working with celebrities and uh, iconic singers uh, and musicians. So for me, meeting Paul McCartney wasn't as... Um, starstruck moment that it probably would be for most people. Um, I saw him as just another musician who just wants to get on with his day. So anyway, going back to the story of the bottle of water, he had a, a, a bottle uh, of water in his hand and he took uh, a swig out of, out of the bottle just before he went out on stage. And he turned to me and said, I don't need this, can I give it to you? And I said, yeah, sure. So he gave me his bottle of water and he went on to stage um, and then I went on to, to kind of do my own thing. I remember taking it to the stage door and I was talking to one of my colleagues and I said, I've got Paul McCartney's bottle of water. And he said, oh, you should keep hold of that, It'd be worth something one day, you'll be able to clone your own Paul McCartney. Um, and not that I plan to uh, make a clone of Paul McCartney, but I just thought to myself, well, it'd be quite cool to keep it and see how long it lasts for. And this, is Paul McCartney's bottle of water and as you can see there's quite a lot of dust on it because it's been on my shelf hidden away to make sure that nobody in the house uh, gets rid of this bottle of water. I think if this if this goes missing I'll be pretty heartbroken to say the least. Um, but what is interesting about this, this is like a six year old bottle of water now and when I was first presented with this bottle of water by Paul McCartney um, the water line was probably about 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 there, and in the last six years, it's 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 dramatically uh, got a bit lower. So I don't know how long this bottle of water is going to last for. I'll be completely honest. Um, but yeah, so this is actually genuinely hand on my heart. I look you in the eye and tell you this is genuinely Paul McCartney's bottle of water. It's probably it. It's worth nothing because one, I can't prove it. Uh, two, I'm just hoping that people that watch my content know that I would not lie about this. It means something to me because I know it's true uh, to be Paul McCartney's bottle of water. It's a bit weird. It is a bit odd that I would keep a bottle of water for six years, but it's a great story. It's something that I can look back on at, as a technician and say, so, yeah, once I um, received a bottle of water from Paul McCartney. Another good thing that I would like to talk to you about in this week's vlog uh, is Clubhouse. Clubhouse is 
a bit like Twitter, but it's audio based. So you have a room and you can be, you are the moderator of a room that you create and say, I want to create a room on filmmaking. And so filmmaking 101, uh, I will make a room, filmmaker 101, and I will invite a few of my connections into that room and uh, people get put into that room and they, they come in as a listener and you are on the main stage. So there's two sections of um, Clubhouse. There's the main stage and then there is um, the listeners, uh, the audience. And what you can do is you can invite people to come up and be speakers um, to come and talk and add value in your room. So last night I literally went on for 10 minutes after already being gone for four hours. Uh, I am now a day behind with my work purely because of Clubhouse, uh, but completely worth it. I had the opportunity to listen to guest speakers from all over the world and connect with these people in real time. The amount of value you can get just as a listener taking on board some of the stories from people has just been absolutely amazing. And I've been on Clubhouse now for about two, three days. I only started using it yesterday. It's an absolute game changer for networking, for growing your awareness of who you are and what you do, and connecting with people who are gonna add so much value to your brand and your business. So if you want to know more about Clubhouse, drop me a message. I am more than happy to chat and add you into to Clubhouse if you can get an invite. It is invite only. It is in the beta stage. There is so much I could tell you about Clubhouse, but we just would not have the time in this week's vlog. So um, I will be making some content uh, which is focused around Clubhouse. And if you are lucky enough to be on the platform, don't forget to find me at Take the Cake Pro, or you can pretty much search through my Twitter and Instagram. Instagram and you should be able to find the handles on there. If you're on Clubhouse, you should just be able to search for at Take The Cake Pro. So there you go. That's you all up to date. I will be back next Thursday with another edition of my vlog. In the meantime, stay safe, be well, and I will see you all next week.